Folks, we have some, one of the nicest groupings of smalls we've had in months, especially in a non-catalog auction. All these car tags. There's several more in the showcase already. That's a Courgette sculpture on its side. This is cool. This great big old cast iron Merry Christmas Christmas tree stand. A couple of big Crocs. A nice granite ware set there. A nice little basket. I love the Buddy L truck. I've never seen this color, this salmon pink color in a Buddy L. And it looks to be the original color. The other side, undersides exactly the same. So, uh, pretty neat deal there. Czechoslovakia little wall mask. Interesting pottery and cast iron throughout the auction. Very nice little coin spot lamp. Hanging pieces, little Victorian you know beaded wall pocket this is a cool neat uh, piece there nice uh, stoneware and pyrex I mean all kinds of interesting items there's a little Aunt Jemima you know stamp there Etruscan Majelica now look in the little case here all these little animal figures cast iron and bronze University of Arizona 1927 you know little elephant bottle opener uh, I believe a lot of these are Bing and Grondel and Royal Copenhagen on the top shelf. All kinds of goodies. And then the top up here, the uh, pair of candle holders are Roseville. So is the tall vase in the back. I think it's Foxglove. And then the standard glazed mugs. No marks, but they look like they're either Roy, Roy, Cro uh, Roy Cro Crookwood or Loynell. Nice oil painting. Check out the inkwells. There's some really great inkwells down here, including the shoe. <clears throat> pool pottery crystalline including a great smith piece look at the tightness of the crystalline you know, can't see art institute dude big world ducks dolphin nice metlock style uh, stein maybe it's just stamped germany on the bottom nice piece of cloisonne a lot of neat little advertising jars there or uh, blue, that's American Balik, the teapot set. Great little child's or toy size swans, uh, iron forms. You know, the Jayhawk, the cast iron black cat's cool. Some more irons. This little inkwell. Great bookends. Love the Egyptian motif on the king, on the big hook. Nice clocks, the regulator movement. You know, nice uh, gingerbread there. Love the pocket watch holder. Really wonderful piece. You can see there's more goodies up here on the showcase. This piece here is a little Tufts company from Boston. Nice figural candlesticks, chamber sticks. Sterling silver, including some Russian silver. Look at the little you know, paper clips. Little silver box. Nutcrackers. Hood ornaments, more of the car tags. I believe these held a rod of some sort between them that would have uh, maybe been for a bar or something along those lines. A little set of sterling silver. Neat little tins. Great little piece of bake light. Look at that. The arm swings as well. Little figures there. Cute little pots. Might be the best Mexican silver necklace we've ever sold. I mean, I can, you know, obviously we'll take pictures this week of these items. But uh, just phenomenal. Love the bronze. Nice little watercolor of Kansas. Uh, looks like a cornfield. See the hood ornaments, radiator caps. A couple of uh, Elgin pocket watches. Neat little scale. Another piece of Majelica there, neat little leaf form. This is a enameled iron. Neat piece, some really awesome canes. Great ginger jar. I mean, the color on that, the age is wonderful. Some really neat mirrors. Oh, and these boxes, and a huge cache of toys out of an estate, uh, including some more remote control planes. You can see one of the controls there, uh, weight or propellers, all kinds of stuff. One of these had, here we go, a couple of motors, Enya's and Tigre, and boxes. Neat old uh, Zobor the robot. 
battery operated grandpa car in the original box. Neat, neat car there. A little bit of glassware so far. <clears throat> There's a couple of cookie jars and other pottery in there. Lots of interesting smalls we have to go through yet. A couple of dispensers there. There's a little, little peanut dispenser there. That's a pretty wonderful piece. Another Mopo. This is an iron piece. We were talking the other day about how uh, now everything is plastic with rounded edges to keep the kids safe. And we all, grew, you know, and this is before my time, obviously, but, you know, if we'd have had this, we'd have played with it. Amazingly, we didn't, uh, all these kids were older, didn't lose their fingers. Wonderful where you well enamel sign. Cute little cabinet there. A lot of interesting autographs here. Uh, just a neat, neat group. Joan Namath, Jerry Kuzman, Art Monk. Neat autographs, some old Coca-Cola stuff. Bags. These boxes have a lot of old toys in it. And then this cart here is full of old toys, all the way from the 50s and 60s, I think through the 70s. Uh, you'll see the Barbie, you know, paper dolls, airplanes, Kenner Easy Bake Oven, uh, the slot car things, airplanes. Uh, what am I else am I seeing here? Barbie's Dream Boat, Zippy Slider Skates, Farm and Animal Set, Ohio Art. I haven't even looked at that yet. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's pretty complete too. Wonderful. These are all in an attic. A Bobby Hull hockey NFL electric football. The bongo board. It's cool. Break your neck, but it's cool. There's a Ellen Handicap road race set on this side. There was a, where am I missing it? The, uh, the military um, erector set. Oh, here it is. Military vehicles erector set. I don't think I've ever seen that before. What's that? Dante's Magic Show Enduro Road Race Set. Hot Wheels Stunt Action Set. I mean, just a great, great group of toys. The Thunderbolt 3 Triple Monza Banked Walls by Strombecker. I mean, a lot of fun, fun stuff here, folks. Make sure you come on out and go through these things so you know exactly what you're bidding on. A couple more planes. Look around velvet. And then we still have a few boxes to go through. <laughs> of course, it is only Tuesday. That's how it's supposed to be. We should be full. We should be full. And at this point, pretty much anything that comes in after today for this this week will go for the next auction. So uh, if you're considering bringing things in, understand that we'll probably hold them. Uh, if they're good enough, you know, if they're not, we'll just tell you to take them somewhere else. But we're more than happy to talk to you. This is a neat set. I think it's a ceramic set with a, like a decoupage leather. So... A lot of neat stuff, folks. It's going to be a great auction Tuesday night. Make sure you keep following the website. Keep abreast of what's happening so that uh, you're not cut on, caught unawares and wake up next Wednesday and say, Oh, I wanted to buy so-and-so. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to be a lot of great items. We're really looking forward to this auction. It's going to be a lot of fun.